Today I'm going to show you how to shine coins, um, like, without, like, vinegar and salt, because that, like, leaves green stuff and stuff, but, um, this is some of the ones that I cleaned, and it polishes it, and it leaves a glossy shine, the copper coin. This one, this one right here used to be pitch black, but now it's all shiny, but yeah. So, and here's the coins that we're going to be cleaning today. Copper penny, a Namco token, a coin from Argentina. Another coin from Argentina and a really black nickel. And I'm I'm using there's no shine like mother's. Um it's mag and aluminum polish, but this is perfect for all metals, which it is, and it shines and protects so it won't erode. And um it's like a white creamy stuff and it just like makes it so polished and nice it's not like it's ten times better than vinegar and salt and it doesn't erode and all that but you could buy this at like I don't know like Walmart for like five bucks or three bucks I, I don't know I had this for a long time It's just that danger, harmful, or fatal swallowed. It, it's just that you just could wear gloves or something, but we'll be cleaning these coins. Okay, there will be a part two. Just click on part two. We'll clean. Okay, this is part two. I made another part two, but I accidentally clicked um, the off button, so I'm making another one. But I got a new penny because I was doing that in part two. It's the same. It's just the same year, and it's all dirty, the same. And we got the same coins in Namco. If you've seen part, um, if you if you haven't seen part one yet, um, just do so now because it's just a little bit easier. But I got this thing from. I got a coin from Argentina, another one, a nickel that's really dirty from 1944, I'm a penny from 1964 or something, a Namco old token, and now you just need this. I already showed you this in the first video, so you already know that. Ear cleaners and a towel or a microfiber cloth. Microfiber cloth is better, which is downstairs. I don't feel like getting it, but here. Now let's start with this little coin from Argentina. Centiavo, whatever it says. 1985 and it's kind of dull and I don't know what it's made of it looks like brass or something but I don't know now you just take this off it looks like a little creamy like vanilla cream or something and what you do is you just take the ear cleaner dip it in there and circle it around to get it all over around it then you just swish it around the side so then you don't get a big glob on it and 
you start to wipe on it until green or black residue shows on there like that and I'll just do it one swipe across it you already got some on there and just, just swipe it until the green residue appears but if you want to make it extremely glossy and shiny it makes it super glossy like I showed you in the first video of the coins I did and you just keep it see yeah, how it's already shiny Okay, now take it and you need to buff it by wiping it, um, just putting it in the towel and just picking up the towel and just going back and forth like this. And a bunch of green residue. Just don't ruin your towels because I don't know if it comes off, but I bet it does. But just use a towel that's like worn out or dirty, anything that's... Yeah, that, that's like, like a towel. And once you did that, you'll see all the green residue everywhere from it. And um, here's the side that I cleaned. You can see how shiny it is. You could do this one more time, it'll make it extremely shiny like these coins that I did in the first video. It'll make it as shiny as this. But now we gotta do the back. In the back, I already got a little bit residue from the towel when I was doing that. But... Just pick up this thing again. You can use the other side though, but there will be a part three for the other coins that I'm gonna claim. But just do it again on the other side. it again to make it extremely shiny may look not that clean but once you buff it off it'll look like so shiny it'll look like you just got chrome from like one of those car dealer shops but now you just put it in the towel again and do that rubby thing. It's like nighttime and I need light for my eye touch to get like HD, but it gets a little bit fuzzy. There's my toads. You can see it's fuzzy. Okay, let's see it. Now, there we go. But now to make it super shiny, you just got this and softly rub it around it. Just don't do this with super rare, rare coins. Like, because it might, I don't know if it will lower the value. I know that it might. But you could do this with, like, it doesn't have to be coins. It could be a bunch of other stuff. It could be any metal. Like, it could be like a ring, it could be rims, a car. There you go. There's how shiny that is. It's shinier than it looks, so, so I don't know how shiny. And there, and now let me do one more and I'll make another video. Let's start off with nickel. I haven't tried a nickel yet, so I don't know if it will clean as good. But I have tried, like, every metal, pretty much. See how it's pitch black? I'll just get a little bit of that. Rip it around. Make sure you get a new one, because if you use an old one, it might just not work as good. But, I just rub it around. It's extremely hard to do this in one hand. It's 
See how it's already shiny? To get shiny. It already is shiny, actually. Oh my god, it keeps moving. Let me hold it down. And get some more. Shinier than it looks right now because it's not in the light really. Now if I reflect it, 